Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Ed here, The Plant Charmer. So if you checked out my Instagram story this morning, you may have noticed that I've tried to go to the dollar store to shoot a video and they refused uh, because everything has to go through their official communications, PR. I decided to come here to Floreal and these guys really understand social media. So they got me all fitted out with a cap and they got me a sweater. So right now for the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna be part of their staff. And so I was joking with them. I got hired two minutes ago. I'm gonna be fired in 12 or 15 minutes and it's all good with us. So let me take you guys on a quick tour of this great, great garden center. So the first part of the store, I wanna check out with you guys is their fertilizers because as opposed to Home Depot or all the large uh, big box stores, they have an entire wall of fertilizers. How cool is that? So so much choice to uh to pick from and we're gonna have uh, get a little closer and see what they have in detail so uh they have this company called mike uh which is basically fertilizers that have mycorrhizae in so mycorrhizae is a a fungus or a mushroom that establishes a symbiotic relationship with plant roots and that helps them grow so it helps exchange uh fertilizer or food between the soil and the plant so uh the plant feeds the mushroom the mushroom absorbs nutrients and feeds the plants uh, so that's a really really cool product right there next here so that's going to be some organic fertilizer here uh bone meal so bone meal is of course uh super cool for phosphorus or so if you're trying to get those roots to grow you know that zero thirteen zero that npk so the n stands for uh, nitrogen and then the p stands for phosphorus and the k is going to stand for potassium so this is really really good for rooting plants now if we move a little bit to the right here my favorite brand which is actisol i promise you guys i'm not being paid by them uh, but they should really pay me because they keep talking about them all the time so great great products all certified organic this is what i use on the farm uh in my gutters we also use liquid fertilizer i'll show you liquid fertilizers uh a little further in this video but yeah so these fertilizers are really really nice and let's just move around the store a bit, see what kind of cool products we can find around here. Spray bottles. So they've got a whole selection of spray bottles here. Really cool stuff again. Uh, if you're using a bit more, more of that of sprayed uh, products such as seaweed or kelp, uh, if you're using pyrethrin for, uh, for your bugs or whatever, you might want to get something like that that has a pump on it. And then you can just prime it or, you know, put it under pressure and then you can just you know just go right ahead and do all your stuff really practical cool size it's not too big so it's easy to hold in your hand like this and walk around with you got of course the smaller version which is your regular spray bottle here super useful again for the same purpose a bit more manual obviously the price difference on these is going to be significant i don't have the price on that this one is 18 dollars, but yeah this is probably going to be like five bucks or so uh another version of that pump sprayer there so this is going to be a little better quality i think or similar to the one we had there but yeah if you guys are gardening and you're going to be using uh seaweed or kelp which i recommend get yourself one of these that type of sprayer they're super useful uh, they last a long time they save a lot of energy and then we got the kitty cutie version here so that guy here i really like because it's small you can just go around your garden really quick with that product there super affordable at 10.99 so uh so that's it that's a small part of their garden tool section so they've got spades they got shovels they got rakes uh soft tines hard tines they've got pretty much everything so uh quality tools that they sell here what i like about places like here which are not the big box stores is you find more niche brands so instead of just having fiskars and uh the regular brands that you find everywhere they have smaller more boutique brands which are usually better quality tools so uh, if you look at these rakes you know that type of product there you're going to spend a bit more money on this but uh the counterpart is these products are going to last a lot longer so of course you have to take care of them you have to bring them inside in the winter uh, but i really really like these small companies they understand what it takes to make a good garden tool or a good garden spade or shovel uh, and of course yeah they charge a bit more but again we are uh, gardeners for life so we keep our tools for a long time so my recommendation when you get tools is invest in good stuff that's going to last a long time so you don't waste time and energy using bad tools and buying them over and over again 
you guys probably have Gardner products uh, where you are. I think it's a, a, at least North America wide. It's probably in Europe as well. I'm not really sure. I'm a big fan of Gardena. Uh, they make good quality tools, good quality accessories for your watering hoses. Uh, we don't have them right here, but I use a lot of their quick connects for water hoses. Uh, allows me to just click on, click off whatever tool I need or whatever gardening wand or watering wand I'm trying to use. So Gardena, when you guys see Gardena products, they're usually very good quality a bit pricier than the regular or average standard quality stuff but again i'm a big fan of investing in good tools and these usually make a really really good garden garden gloves look at the selection that these guys have i mean when you're a serious gardening store you have a bunch of different gardening gloves uh, available for your customers like this. So uh, there's larger gloves. That's going to be more like if you're going to be cleaning up the yard or there's anything sharp or with spines that you're going to come across. But what I'm a really big fan of is these smaller, thinner type gloves here. So these gloves have a non-slip rubber type palm. And if you look in the back here, actually breathe so this material is going to ensure that uh, the air circulation more importantly when you put these gloves on you've got great dexterity because you can actually feel things so you can actually really really work with these gloves as opposed to just you know picking up handfuls of trash and putting them in in the dumpster or whatever this is going to be for our our gardening really so a uh, small uh, well-ventilated non-slip grips what? these are the characteristics that make gloves really nice in my opinion watering wands uh, or just watering guns again that's something I use a lot at home and on the farm also uh, so they have all kinds of different models here really cool stuff I mean you've got some which are articulated like this you've got some which are not articulated but really really good quality and uh that was mike over there giving you the thumbs up so uh so yeah so we've got all kinds of selection of course prices will go from uh from 15 20 dollars all the way to 50 60 70 depending on what you get uh and when i was telling you before about the gardena uh quick connectors this is what i was talking about this little piece right here goes into actually it screws into your watering hose and then it just clicks into this part here so you can actually have this quick connect on and decide you're going to switch from this watering uh, gun or maybe to this one or perhaps you want to go to this one here so uh, you're getting to your flower beds and you want to be a bit more precise on your your watering and more accurate so you're going to switch to the wand and and so this is what i use a lot on the farm that wand is something i really use a lot mine has an articulated head that can move uh, but it's the same principle so uh, really really cool accessories if you guys don't have a watering wand with a quick connect system or watering gun with a quick connect system that's something i strongly recommend you get if they ever wear out they also have all the separate parts that you can get uh, in terms of connectors or quick connect so you can really uh, it's like a lego system if something breaks you can replace it uh, and keep using the stuff that you've already invested in i really like when stores have a good selection of liquid organic fertilizers so this is acadie which is owned by actisol also uh the brand that supplies me the fertilizer that i have on the farm so this is uh mostly fish based so fish-based fertilizer goes really well in the sprayer for foliar applications. It also goes really, really well as a, as a soil drench. So you're going to mix that into your watering can or, or your uh, fertilizer injector or whatever. And then you're going to get the benefits of that 2, 4, 0 0.5 uh, and all the micronutrients you're going to get in there as well seaweed seaweed is a great, great product, low NPK but it contains cytokinins and cytokinins are actually natural growth hormones uh interesting tidbit here seaweed is a plant that is not rooted and that is nimbled on and chewed on by fish all day long so its natural defense mechanism is to grow really quickly that's why it has these growth hormones so you can harness the power of that by spraying your leaves and then transferring these hormones to the plant and at that point the plant is going to be able to absorb that and cell division will be accelerated which means your plants will grow faster 
that's a very very small selection of the seeds they have here and and the marks or the indicators of a good gardening store is they're going to carry different brands of seeds and a lot of them so uh, i really like the selection they have here if you look they have I mean, carrots, they have eggplant, they have all kinds of stuff on this wall here. But if we look around a little, you can find seeds pretty much everywhere. So that's going to be from a smaller local company that these guys support. So really cool stuff there. Uh, you're going to have this rack here, which is a different company. And so by having different companies, you get different selections. Uh, you get organic or no organic, you get different pricings. Uh, you get different types of plants. Some are more specialized in Italian vegetables, for example, this company here. Uh, there's a, the flag of Italy here. So they do all kinds of varieties which are um, popular in Italy. So you're going to have uh, rapini, you're going to have these peas. You're going to have, of course, a lot of tomatoes, beans and stuff like that. Uh, here it says semence bio which in French uh, translates to organic seed so another small company here that started uh, started selling in this garden center really really cool stuff so again pick retailers which give a chance to local companies as well I really respect that I wanted to come and have a quick look into their greenhouse because I think one of the symbols or one of the signs of a great garden center is of course they have a greenhouse because you know garden centers should be selling plants and then in the early spring when it's still a little muddy or wet outside and you're trying to catch some sun and you're trying to have a good time and, and see some plants and flowers i love to go around garden centers and just you know visit their greenhouses stroll around take some photos uh enjoy the plants that are there you know we've got a little fountain so that's a lot of fun as well so go out there go to your garden centers check out the plants that they have check out the stuff they have you know get in the mood you know the season's starting so places like this are really really great for getting into the gardening mood that's going to be their rack with seed starting supplies so uh you've got everything from the small plastic containers here uh to peat pots so small jiffy pots you guys have probably seen that before they've got uh they've got these small greenhouse arrangements for starting plants they've got these cocoa mats i really like cocoa mats by the way if you're doing microgreens this is great so you take this mat here and it fits perfectly into what we call a 1020 tray actually this this guy is uh a drip 1020 tray because it has holes at the bottom so we're going to try to find one that does not drip see that's called a no drip tray so difference is very simple no drip doesn't have any holes drip has holes that's the only difference so one drains one doesn't if you're starting plants inside and you don't want to make a mess by the way uh, you can fit your starts into this or you can fit your plug trays into this tray and then you can bottom water which is super cool but let's go back to the microgreens we were talking about so no drip tray put that there this mat goes perfectly in there super clean microgreens sprinkle your seeds in water them in let them grow cut at the bottom you can actually flip it over and get a second use out of it the next time around a good garden center also carries a wide selection of garden pots. So we have clay pots, we've got terracotta pots, we've got nursery containers, you've got plastic, you've got decorative, you've got all kinds of selection here. And, uh, and th that's it. So if you're trying to build a beautiful garden and you're looking at these containers, I mean, look how gorgeous these are. I almost feel like I have to buy one for my wife right now, uh, which I'll probably end up doing in a few minutes. But look at the selection they have in this place. It's crazy so rack after rack of pots so you can go out there and you're sure to find something that you're actually going to like or that your wife is going to like uh, just as in my case so beautiful beautiful containers there you can really really put a nice accent to your garden uh, and you can enjoy your home and your backyard space a lot better of course when it looks beautiful just another quick shot of their greenhouse because it's a beautiful place i mean look at this it feels like we're in some kind of tropical forest here uh so again i'm going to be spending a few minutes walking around this place uh exploring what they have and what they don't have but i don't need to tell you guys i could spend hours in here i was just walking through the store and i noticed they have a whole section with bird feeders super cool stuff for your garden by the way the birds are one of your first defenses against bugs because they eat a lot of bugs so not only do they look good and they sing just for your pleasure but they also eat the bugs that bother your garden so birds are something you want to attract in your garden of course investing in a little bit of a 
a nicer bird feeder is pretty cool. Just make sure you don't hang it somewhere where the squirrels are going to destroy it. But uh, once you're there and you've bought your bird feeder, of course, you should get some bird food uh, to put in that feeder. So that's it. Get something nice, you know, uh, help the birds out and they'll help you out in return. Flower bulbs. All right, so now it's spring. One of the first things we're going to be putting in the ground is flower bulbs. So uh, tulips come to mind, of course. They have a really, really, really cool selection here. I mean, look at all the colors. These guys know how to set up a store so it's attractive. Uh, so that's it. If you guys are looking for great flower bulbs, garden stores like this have them in stock. And I really recommend you come check that out. It's one of the first pleasures in the spring.